Hello again, everybody. Welcome back. Well, I am making more beautiful beaded stuff, and I thought I would bring you along. Um, this is a tutorial for a beaded bead. It's going to be, um, <clears throat> it's going to be very, I don't know if I can really, if I've got one here to show you exactly what it's going to look like. Just stick with me. Okay, so what I've got is about, I don't know, 35 inches or so of fire line, wall fire, same thing, same thing, wall fire. Um, and I'm going to load on six beads. Now, these beads are pretty big, so this is going to be a pretty big overall bead. Um, hopefully, it won't be too big, but I was thinking the bigger beads would be easier for you to see. Um <clears throat> so I've got six loaded on there, and I'm going to pull it down to the end and pull it into a circle, and I'm just going to tie it. Now, I have a tutorial um, for a very similar one um, that I did a while back, but I was just getting started, and I don't feel like it might not have been clear or easy enough for you to understand. So I'm going to do this one. And if you would like to learn how to make a beaded bead, come along with me. All right, so here's where I tied my knot right here. So I'm going to go in um, one bead, and I'm going to kind of sink that knot in the middle just to kind of get it out of the way. Um, and then I'm not going to cut this off all the way. I'm going to cut it short, but I want to see where it's at when I get done so I can add some glue there. Okay, so what we're going to do, and these are going to be awfully tiny, but I'm going to make it work. Let's see if it works. We're going to go two of these um, large seed beads. I couldn't tell you millimeter. <laughs> I don't do millimeters. Two millimeter, one millimeter. I'm not sure. Two of those, one of this is about a four millimeter, and then one, one, two. Now, this first time is different than all the other times. So let's look at what we got. We got two tiny, one, 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 and two. All right. Now, we're going to go, we're coming out of this bead right here. We're going to go back into that bead and pull that thread through. And then we're going to go through the next bead. You always got to go through the next bead. Okay, and this guy is going to end up kind of coming up. We want it to kind of come up a little like that. All right, now this time we're going to go one, two, and one, and one. And that's what we'll do all the way around. Here's my needle. One, two, one, one. We're going to go back into this bigger one. I'm calling it a four. It might be a five. Through the two small ones and through the big bead okay if you didn't get it hang on because we're going to do it again and then like i said you always go through one more bead all right so now we've got two loops we're going to pull them up toward the top kind of holding it tight if you can all right so we've got one two one and one all right go back to that four millimeter through the two tinies through the one big and always go through one more bead. All right, push all that stuff up toward the top, pulling it kind of tight. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. I love these beads. They are gorgeous. All right, one, two, one, and one. All right, back through that one, that big one, through the two small ones, and through the really big one. And one more bead. It's kind of repetitive, so you get it. Now, are we done yet? One, two, three, four, five. Nope, you've got one more to go. All right, so one, two, add a bead, and one. All right, we go back into that four, back through the two tinies, and through the great big bead. And then one more bead. All right, push them all up toward the top. Pull it tight if you can. 
Now, if you can see, we have a gap right here. See, there's a hole, a gap between. Everybody's tied together but this. So we have to fix that, okay? So we're coming out right here, right next to this gap. We're going to go up these two and one big one. We're going to add one tiny one. And we're going to go back down this big, big one and these two. I say big. It's the four millimeters. <clears throat> okay, now we don't have a gap anymore. All right, so we're coming out right there. We're going to go, it doesn't matter which direction, either direction, go through a big one and go up two tinies and one of the four millimeters. Now we're going to tighten this circle. You should have six little beads. So we're going to go through all six and we're going to pull it into a circle. Okay, so let's go through, and you can do this as many times as you want to, but bear in mind, if you're using really tiny seed beads, you have limited space. I got plenty of room in these, but if you're using really tiny ones, you'd have limited space up there. Okay, so I pulled it into a, a pretty tight circle, and wherever my thread ended up, I'm going to go down, down the four, down two of the small ones, and over either direction, doesn't matter. Let's just go this way just for good measure. All right, so there's half. You're almost done. Let's do the other half. Now, for the other half, I didn't pull out enough. Uh-oh, wrong one. I didn't pull out enough of these. I hope I got enough to finish it. I need six. One, two, three, four. There's two more. There is five, and there is six. You go back. Okay. Now we're going to do the other side. Same thing. Hold your work like this. Where am I coming out? I'm coming out right there. Hold your work like this. So this, your thumb's on the one you just did. Okay? So we're going to go. Remember that first stitch is different. One, two, one, one. Yeah, that was right. I'm sorry. I was questioning myself. One, one, one two. Y'all can laugh at me. I laugh at myself. I don't care. Okay, so here's what we've got. One, two, one, 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 two. Just like, just like we started at the other end. So I'm coming out of here. So I want to turn around and go back in to the same bead I'm coming out of just like I did earlier. And then one more bead just like we did last time. Okay, one, two. Now remember this one's different. One, two, one, one. From here on around, one, two, one, one. All right, we're gonna go in that big one. We're gonna go through the great big one. Oh, I keep dropping that needle. And then go through one more bead, just like that. Okay, one, two. One and one. Back up to that four. Go through the two little ones. Go through the great biggie. And go through one more. All right. Let's do it again. One, two. One and one. Back up through the big one. Two small ones. And the great biggie. And one more. Great biggie. All right, we should have one to go. I got five up there. All right, one, two. Add this guy here. Come on, you. And one. One, two, one, one. Back up to the last four. Through the two small ones and through the great biggie. I'm going to say it's a 10 millimeter. Who knows? And through one more bead. All right. Have you got six at the top? If you do, you're good. All right. Remember the gap? Let's close the gap. So go, my thread's coming out right here. Go up these two in the four millimeter. Add one tiny go down right now where the gap is go down the other side going into the four and through the two okay 
and then we're going to go through a bead, a big bead, all right? Now, remember how we tightened that circle? We're going to go and tighten this circle, all right? So let's go up to the top. And here we are at the top. We're just going to go, we're going to start going round and round through these six that are at the top. And that tightens it. This is, gosh, I am so loving these beads. I think this is my favorite one so far. And I have made a lot. Can't stop making them. I just love to make them. Okay, so now we're pretty tight, top and bottom. Now look at the sides. There's a little gap. See that little gap? I don't like that. So I'm going to go down the four and down two of the tinies to where the gap is. Now we're going to fill that gap in with something. You could fill it in with larger gold beads. You could just put another pink in there if you wanted to, but... um. That's kind of boring. I was thinking, seriously, about a crystal. These are um, itty bitty Swarovski crystals. Let me see how. And then I'm I'm just continuing to go straight down. So I went through there too. And let me look at that and see if I'm happy with that. It's okay, but I still see some thread showing. So I'm going to say, no, I need something larger. So I'm backtracking. And lots of times when you backtrack, you're going to get your thread looped under, under a piece. And then you'll think, well, gosh, I'm, I'm going to have a knot here. Not really. Just back it out if you can. Sometimes I can. That, that time it worked. All right. So let's take that crystal back off. It could be a crystal, but that's too tiny, and I can see my black thread through the crystal, and I didn't particularly like that. So, maybe, let's go, let's see where I'm at. All right, I'm still in the gap. Let's go with, say, two of these, because I just don't think one's going to be enough to fill that gap. Ah, there we go. Now our gap is filled. See? How pretty is that? So, we're at the top. Go over one tiny seed bead, go down a four and down two tinies, and let's add two more and let's fill in this gap. So we're continuing straight down. Okay, now we gotta go this way because that one's already got one. So we're gonna go over that little pink one on the top, down the four and the two tiny ones, and let's have some more of these larger gold beads. So let's go to one, two, and let's continue straight down the next three beads. And let's go over one pink bead. And let's go down the next three to the next gap. Everywhere there's a gap, that's where we want to be. And let's add one, two, all right. Going straight down through the next three beads. Go over one tiny one and down the next three. All right, two more gold down the next three. What do we got? One more to go, one more to go. All right, let's go over, down three. And we're going to add two more gold. One, two. All right. Straight down. And you're done. Now all you got to do is tie and tighten. Tie and tighten. Right. Okay. So let's tie this off. So I'm coming out right here. I'm just going to go in some of the thread and I'm going to loop that around and just kind of make like a little slip knot. And I'm going to go again. There's two. And then I'm going to go back around my um, little pink circle again. Just tightening that up. And really all you do from this point on, just thread. You're just threading your, um, threading your, um, thread 
stitching your thread through round and round anywhere you want to go. You want to go back down to the other end. Just don't loop it like that. <laughs> go down to the other end. Okay, so here's the other end. So let's go around this circle. And so, you know, the more you go around and around and around, the tighter it gets. And then you can tie it off again wherever you want to and just thread those ends in. See, I went through that one. So now I'm going to go down here. And my bead's just getting tighter and tighter the whole way. And when I just have a tiny bit of thread left like that, I usually just keep threading it in. Just keep going in any direction you want to go, up and down, round and round, doesn't matter. Um, like I said, you're just securing it stronger and stronger with each stitch. And you don't want them to come apart, so my light is blinking. Okay, now I'm just going to cut it off, and that bead is gorgeous, and it is secure. Isn't that awesome? So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Give it a try and have fun. Have a great day. Bye-bye.